Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm your host, Sam Pasco, and this is the KBO Show. We first start with an overview of the day's games. The highest total is set at a whopping 11.5 for the Doosan Bears Samsung Lions game. The Bears have scored double digits in each of their last three games and have the highest scoring offense in the KBO with 7.2 runs per game. The lowest total is set at 9.5 for two games, as three of the four teams involved are in the bottom half of team batting average. The Kia Tigers and Deuce and Bears are going for series sweeps. These odds are courtesy of FanDuel Sportsbook and are subject to change. The first game you're going to take a look at is that Eagles-Dinos game. The series is split at one apiece right now, but the Dinos have the edge in Game 3 as they have Mike Wright on the bump. Wright has a 1-6-9 ERA through three games and has 16 strikeouts in 16 innings pitched. He walked five batters in his last outing, but this Hanwha team strikes out nearly 20% of the time, so I don't think it'll be an issue. I like the NC Dinos on the money line and the under, as both teams are great at preventing runs. Next, I'm looking at former Philly David Buchanan to finally quiet the Deucen Bears hot bats. The Bears have the highest batting average in the KBO, but I think Buchanan is just the guy to quiet them. Two starts ago, he struck out eight key wound batters while limiting them to just two hits. He can go as deep as seven innings, and Deucen overall is poised for some regression. They have a ridiculous 353 batting average on balls in play, while they're only one game above 500 in their last 10 games. I like Samsung on the money line and under that huge 11 and a half runs. Now, if you're looking to construct a daily fantasy lineup, this is the one guy you have to make sure you get into your lineup. Tyler Saladino of the Samsung Lions. Saladino has been cold as of late, only one hit in his last five games, but he's now on day three of facing a Deuce on Bears pitching staff that's dead last in preventing runs. Their 10th in opponents runs, batting average, and slugging percentage. Most importantly, if Saladino can just put the ball in play, he's a great chance of getting on, as balls in play result in hits over a third of the time against the Bears. Now, taking a look at yesterday's scoreboard, only the Doosan Bears and Kiwoom Heroes were able to score double digits, while the league-leading NC Dinos shut out the Hanwha Eagles 3 to nothing. For you prop bettors out there, all five games had a first-inning run scored. As for player news, last night's MVP would have to be Drew Rosinski as he struck out nine over eight scoreless innings against the Eagles, allowing just four hits and a walk. Eric Jokic exited Saturday's game after six innings, having allowed two runs on six hits and two walks, which now moved his ERA to a narrow 1.17. Finally, Aaron Brooks tossed a quality start for the Red Hawk Kia Tigers. Brooks allowed three runs on seven hits and three walks across six and two-thirds innings in the win over the SK Wyverns. For more KBO coverage and the best fantasy sports news, check out rotowire.com and follow us on Twitter at rotowirekbo.